first two periods after the way that this went down in Edmonton 10 days ago? I, I Well, for me, I was just, I was pleased with uh, the energy that we came out with and I think the energy that we played with. Uh, you know, first period, we gave up some chances and Bob was very good uh, to keep them off the off the scoreboard. Uh, you know, scoring early, I think, helped for us. Helped us, helped us as well. Um, but you know, I, I, I like the energy that we came out and we we played with tonight. You said before the game this morning that you were there was some upside to Corey Trop. Did you like what you saw with him on the ice tonight? I don't know if he was able to really get into the game, and that's the, the way that the game was unfolding. It seemed like every time. I said the Chapu line was up on the bench. There was a penalty, whether we took it or whether they took it. And you know, I, I think they had what four or four minutes or five minutes, I think, going into the third period. And I don't know how many shifts they had in the third. I, I don't think it was many. They had maybe two or three. And I didn't get a chance to see what their total was as far as ice time. Um, so for me, it's it's still still going to have to see them play a little bit more before I. I think it's fair for me to answer that question. I, I, what he did do is, I, I know he tried to bring some energy uh, as far as going after the pucks and, and trying to finish checks. It seemed the third got a little sloppy, some penalties in there. Were, were you looking for a seventh goal? Were you looking to even it up to pile on a bit after the way that it went down? I, I, I hope we weren't. My message to the group wasn't to, wasn't to go out and score more goals uh, after the second. What I. I wanted to see us come out and continue to play a hard game and, and make it difficult on them. And we went the opposite direction. We we took some penalties, started with the first shift of the third, and and it gave them some life. You, you could see they had some energy because it's a chance to power play and it's a chance for points. Two power play goals, but getting that one when it was five on three, how important do you think that was in this game? It was it was very important. I think at that juncture of the game, uh, one to nothing, and, and we had an extended five on three, and I think we had a couple good chances, some good shots, and their goalie made the saves. Uh, and then as that was, you know, and then they took that, uh, you know, the third penalty, and we ended up scoring. That ended up being the difference because I. I think if they don't take a penalty there, they probably do kill it off, and and they will get get some momentum from it. Uh, but we scored late, and and it, it gave us a little bit of a, a little bit of a boost. Calvert had a real good play. He sort of hounded Perron early in the in the game. It seemed to really get you guys going. Can you just speak to his game? He didn't score a goal, but a couple of points, and had a huge, huge impact. He plays with energy. And uh, he goes after pucks. He plays a you know a fearless game too, blocking shots. He had a couple big big blocks for us on the penalty kill in the uh, second period. Uh, but just around the net, uh, he again he's fearless when he goes after pucks. He's fearless when he goes into corners, and uh, you know you see that over and over again. And we'll, I, I know that we'll see it more and more. Again, it, it it forces his teammates to to play a similar game. Going into Boston to uh, Boston tomorrow night, is there anything that you change or tweak to help maybe get them into a winning mode versus <laughs> the, the Jekyll and Hyde that's been yeah. going on for yeah, I, a week and a half? This is the, I'm still trying to find the solution to the problem. Uh, you know, going in as far as adjustments to the lineup, we'll have to sit down as coaches and and look at that. I still haven't had yet to talk with our trainer, so I'm not sure if we even got out of the game okay. I'm based on the bench and how we finished. I, I think everybody's OK. Um, so I don't know if we need to make an adjustment there or a change there. Uh, but we we do have to look at a way that, that, that we start the game on time and we, we come up with similar energy. It's been over a month since you've won back-to-back -back games. How meaningful would that be? Would that sort of feel like you're on the path to something rather than this oscillation? I, I don't know if I'll ever feel like I'm on that path. Uh, you know, to me, it's it's getting consistency in our game, and it's not even necessarily about the results, uh, meaning the wins and the losses. It's about consistent in our play and consistent in our attitude and our our work ethic. And then I I think I I could probably answer that question for you.